Very pleasant weather welcomes the guest. President Trump has come to India on a whirlwind tour of 36 hours and India has decided to make every moment count because there are different kinds of activities that have been planned out for him. After Ahmedabad, he will be visiting Agra where he and his wife will see the Taj, the symbol of love at sunset. And of course, tomorrow there will be a formal reception at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Intricate dance movements and then simplifying it. Joy in the air. of the American president to India will go a long way in strengthening our geostrategic ties. There will be many things which will be discussed on various subjects of mutual interest. And ours are complementary economies. So the road for the future will definitely be laid during this visit. Bells, bells are sacred in India, and of course, waves and cheers. So the entire cavalcade now moves out of the airport towards the city.
and after receiving the grand welcome at the Ahmedabad International Airport, US President Donald Trump, First Lady Melania Trump, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other dignitaries are now participating in a road show. Well, this has been the most awaited and much discussed event of this visit when the President of world's most powerful democracy and Prime Minister of world's largest democracy shares the bond of friendship. This is approximately a 22 kilometer long road show and perhaps the longest road show ever held in the city for visiting dignitary. Well, the first stop of the road show is Sabarmati Ashram and then it will move towards the world's biggest cricket stadium, Motera. The road show has just left from the airport and now is reaching at the airport circle and then it will move towards Sabarmati Ashram. The road show is now moving from the heart of the city, touching some of the important destinations. This is the airport circle now, where the cavalcade is moving towards Sabarmati Ashram. This road show is a perfect example of Ek Bharat, Shreshd Bharat. It talks about India is a unique nation whose fabric has been woven by diverse linguistic, cultural and religious threads held together into a composite national identity by a rich history of cultural evolution coupled with the rousing freedom struggle that was built around the tenets of non-violence and justice. And as you can see, people's have actually gathered on both the sides of the road and greeted the leaders, the two leaders. And as you can see on your screens here, in this road show, more than 28 stages have been set up at various locations. And the artist And the artist, dressed in traditional attire, as you can see, presenting folk dances, music and yoga poses. Whether it is east or west, north or south, and from many states of India, the talented artists have come here to showcase their talent and make the world aware of the arts. And this is a perfect platform when all the eyes are set on them. This is a soft power of India. The cavalcade has now reached to the cantonment area. You can see people try to capture the movement in their mobile phones. Here we can see the history unfolds.
Different states from the country are presenting the traditional dance forms en route. The road show. The distance between the airport and the Sabarmati Ashram is about approximately 7 kilometers. And as you can see, the cavalcade is now moving towards uh, Sabarmati Ashram, have already crossed the cantonment area. It is now reaching at Hanuman Camp Road. So as we're talking about the cultural performance, you can see the artists performing on the stage here. For example, Gujarat, uh, the state in India, is presenting the Garba. Garba is a form of dance which originated in the state of Gujarat. And many traditional Garbas are performed around a centrally lit lamp or picture or statue of goddess Shakti. Traditionally, it is performed during the nine-day Navratri festival. The city of Ahmedabad wore a festive look today. And indeed people looks quite happy. This is a golden Qatar gate where the cavalcade is reaching now. There are approximately 28 states who will be performing and presenting the different style of art, the dance. These artists have been performing and practicing since many years. And as we say earlier, this is a perfect platform to showcase the talent as all the eyes are set on them. And here the different states are performing, the artists are performing the local folk dance. The idea of sustained and structured connect between denizens of different regions was mooted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Prime Minister propounded that cultural diversity is a joy that ought to be celebrated through the mutual interaction and reciprocity between people of different states and union territories so that a common spirit of understanding resonates throughout the country. And now the cavalcade is reaching at the Sabarmati Riverfront Road. And from here, it's just three to four kilometers, the cavalcade will reach to its first destination, that is Gandhi Ashram. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has personally and quite warmly hosted world leaders in Ahmedabad and especially at the Sabarmati riverfront where this cavalcade is now turning. At the Sabarmati riverfront also we can see the artists are performing on the banks of the river of Sabarmati. So I was telling Prime Minister Narendra Modi has personally quite warmly hosted world leaders in Ahmedabad, including Chinese President 
Xi Jinping, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, and Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The road through has taken up, has reached to the Sabarmati Riva Front Road. And as you can see, people are lined up here on the, both the sides of the road. You can see the flags of the United States of America and India. Well, this friendship is not just between the two leaders. Here we can see a friendship between two countries. This is the Sabarmati River Front. This is the dream project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The project was long pending, but when Prime Minister Narendra Modi became Chief Minister of Gujarat, they took the project on a mission mode. And this long pending project was completed in just a few years. This project has become a successful affair as now many states developing the riverfront in the cities like this. Prominent leaders like Japan and Israel, Prime Ministers also visited the riverfront and got surprised to see it. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the visit of foreign dignitaries was not just confined to national capital Delhi, but was taken to other state of India. So therefore, we saw Portugal president visiting Mumbai for Indian Portugal Business Forum, China's president Xi Jinping visiting Mahabalipuram, Tamil Nadu, French President Emmanuel Macron and Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visiting Varanasi and Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh. And now we can see US President visiting Ahmedabad, Agra and Delhi. The Kakir is now moving on the Subhash Bridge and from here the Gandhi Ashram is just a couple of kilometers away. On both the sides of road we can see big hoardings and posters being displayed of both the leaders here. So as the first destination of this road show is Gandhi Ashram. The Gandhi Ashram is situated on the bank of Sabarmati River. The Sabarmati Ashram was home to Mahatma Gandhiji from 1917 until 1930 and served as one of the main center of the Indian freedom struggle. As we can see, the cavalcade has reached on the Subhash Bridge. The cavalcade is now crossing Sabarmati River. The ashram originally called Satyagraha Ashram reflecting the movement towards passive resistance launched by Mahatma Gandhiji. Dum, dum, 
the Ahmedabad city today wore a festive look here. So the cavalcade of President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has uh, now arrived at Sabarmati Ashram and uh, en route we did see that the distinguished guests were greeted by tens of thousands of people and artists showcasing art from different states and union territories. The beautiful Sabarmati River and on the banks of it Sabarmati Ashram and this is the place which is called Hide Kunj where Gandhiji lived for nearly 13 years. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi being welcomed at Sabarmati Ashram. After working for 21 years in South Africa, Gandhiji returned to India in January 1915 and he chose to settle in Ahmedabad for a number of reasons. He could serve the country better through his mother tongue Gujarati. Ahmedabad as an old center of hand weaving would serve well to promote the spinning wheel or the charkha and as a prime city of Gujarat Ahmedabad would be a good source of financial support too. Gandhiji never visited America, but he had a deep connect with people. Martin Luther King was inspired by Gandhiji's philosophy of truth and non-violence as powerful tools during the civil rights movement in America. He said, when I go to other countries, I go as a tourist, but when I come to India, I come as a pilgrim. And this is the entrance to the Sabar Mati Ashram. It has been preserved as it was during Gandhiji's time. 